In a forest, countless lives entwine. But as in any neighborhood, peace seldom lasts long. The rain has also softened the forest soil, encouraging out an odd Australian digger. That termite mound is the attraction. Echidna has a taste for termites and ants, and the snout for invading their homes. She hasn't a tooth in her head, but she makes up for that with a tongue like a snake. Not only is it long enough to reach into the termite galleries, it's sticky with copious saliva. Insects, soil and all are crushed by horny pads in the mouth. Echidna is a character of specialised taste, and what's more, she even lays eggs. In a crowded forest, encounters of an unsatisfactory kind are inevitable. Echidna's appetite unwittingly leads to Bowerbird's pride and joy. Bowerbird's artistry with insect bodies is appreciated only as a meal by Echidna. Diner who quite innocently demolishes the restaurant. Echidna lives close to Brush Turkey's mound under a fallen tree trunk. She has a baby, a puggle as young echidnas are called. It hatched from a single soft shelled egg and moved for a time into a pouch on its mother's belly where it fed on her milk. Now three or four months old, it has a coat of short spines, but the puggle may not venture into the forest until a year old. Echidna fears nothing by day or night. All the same, Dingo's sensitive nose soon picks up her scent. Sharp eyes, keen hearing, and that canine sense of smell keep Dingo well fed on most nights. Those spines are really sharp, and Echidna's well wedged between some rocks. It's just not worth the trouble. In her basement flat, under the edge of the mound, Echidna sleeps undisturbed. The Puggle now has more prominent spines. It's keen to explore, but lacks some coordination. Echidna does little more than stir in her sleep. The Puggle has learned a lesson. It'll be more cautious next time. 